Hey, good morning, everyone. Back in the studio. Um, always a miracle to jump in a car and drive 80 miles an hour for four or 500 miles with everyone else. Made it home. Thank God. Um, all right, so Dixie Fire's still driving 80 miles an hour. Added, um, added 12,000 acres yesterday. And luckily none of that's right near a town. So um, we're going to jump in here in Google Earth and fly around a little bit. A buddy of mine just gave me a fancy 3D mouse. So um, try not to make us all car sick. Okay, so um, we're looking over Herlong Junction and um, all the good stuff at Herlong. Um, last night, the fire, um, it moved down the escarpment on the south end um, up against the Beckworth fire. Um, I'm not sure if that was, um, you know, if they were trying to bring it down on purpose or if it just came down, but came down, crossed a bunch of their dozer lines there, but it looks like um, as of... About 8 p.m. it hadn't crossed 395. The white line on this map is yesterday's perimeter, and so um, red line is as of about 8 p.m. last night. Um, we're looking kind of to the northwest, and the green here on this side is the Beckworth fire. So Dixie and Beckworth are wed. Um, so we're going to come around the south end of the fire here towards Dixie Mountain. There was So the 8,000 acres of growth, and this part of the fire is from the white line out. Whoa. Funky mouse. Whoa. Okay. Um, so we're looking now a little bit more to the north. Lake Davis is on the left-hand side of our screen. And the Dota fire uh, was earlier this season. That's that kind of little pale light blue shape in the middle there. Um, the yellow heat here is the um, scattered heat, and the red is the intense heat. So if we pan over here, um, we're looking over now towards Portola and Grizzly Ranch. So um, not a lot of spread to the south. Um, it mainly spread to the east yesterday. So now we're going to jump up and um, we're going to fly north here. The Walker Fire is in blue. That was uh, two years ago, and so you can see that um, Dixie's all in the red here, and we've just pretty much burned up most of the east side of the Flumas National Forest. Um, you know, when you see these maps of Dixie, and you say, oh, well, look, there's some islands there. Well, those islands um, are mainly areas that have also burned in the last couple of years, like the Walker Fire here. Um, we're flying up towards Susanville now, and um, this blue shape is the sheep fire that burned last year. And here we're looking out kind of over Indian Valley towards um, Lake Almanor. And uh, there's still a little bit of heat down here in Indian Valley um, on a hill above Taylorsville. Not a lot. Uh, this is Grizzly Peak. Looking over Genesee. And uh, this has been burning for a while. It looks like there's not a lot of firing being done here. Um, it's just kind of backing down there. Okay, Indian Valley. We're gonna fly up here over Westwood. Um, here's Westwood, Mountain Meadows Reservoir. And we're just gonna go up A21 here to um, Bogard. This is the north east corner of the fire and this is the area that's just been kind of um, pushing itself around. So um, the big story here on this part of the fire is just that there was a spot um, out here in the middle. Um, two days ago there was a small spot that was mapped. Um, day before yesterday it ran about 300 acres, right? No, about 30 acres, sorry, right at the end of the day, which is that white line. Um, yesterday afternoon, it put on another 120 acres uh, late in the afternoon. And uh, it's had spotted. So last night at 8 p.m., it was um, about three quarters of a mile from Bogard Rest Area, um, maybe half a mile from Highway 44. 
with the two spots. Now we're just going to move up here to um, the far northeast corner of the fire, which we've really been, you know, talking about a lot. This is the reading fire area in blue. And that um, the reading fire, I didn't, I don't know if I mentioned it last night, but um, reading fire, it, there's a long story here, just that the um, Park Service had a lightning fire in 2012 that they decided to let burn for um, resource benefit. And this is something that's been done a lot in Lassen Park over the last um, 30 years. And then the fire, um, the weather changed and the fire uh, took off, ran a couple miles in a day and eventually became a wildfire and left the park. And so we've been talking a lot about just how um, th the reduction in fuel that was accomplished by that has really bought some advantages during this fire in that it slowed the fire down enough that, um, you know, it bought two or three weeks for firefighters to um, work on other parts of the fire before they came over here. So similarly to what we've been talking about on the Capels fire, uh, there's this, um, you know, there were short-term political um, consequences and problems resulting from this fire leaving the park. Uh, the long-term consequences of this and the Capels fire was that both of these projects ended up buying firefighters advantage in controlling mega fires. Um, so where we're at right now with the reading is um, the white and yellow here in the middle um, is where the fire was yesterday. And the uh, fire continued to spread yesterday, but there's um, this black is dozer line. The white is stuff that got done, like cleaning up um, after the fire to plant new trees, burning piles, etc. The various types of fuel modification. And um, so it looks like yesterday there was some firing that was done. This kind of dotted line, it's a little hard to see here, is um, the Pacific Crest Trail. And so it looks like there was some firing done along the trail yesterday. So as of last night um, at 8 o'clock, the fire hadn't crossed the dozer line here. Um, it had crossed the PCT in a spot where it was going to bump the dozer line anyway. So it'll be interesting to see how um, things unfold here. You know, it was a complex puzzle for the firefighters to try to piece together here. Uh, as we'd mentioned earlier, um, Initially, there was some firing along the perimeter of the reading fire, and um, that plan got abandoned because it was there wasn't enough fuel to carry a continuous firing operation here. It was a lot of green brush. Anyhow, unfolding story. Um, it's just one of those tough parts of um, this fire. You can see the purple line on here is Lassen Park boundary, and um, they've been trying hard not to use bulldozers inside Lassen Park. And so they're kind of, you know, now's the time the fire's just finally leaving the park. And so um, we're going to see if that makes a difference. Um, just like everything on the rest of this fire, we're at the mercy of the weather with this, the fuels being so dry and everything else. Um, there's a spot here, you know, um, mapped outside the fire line. That doesn't mean that the fire's escaped. It's just showing you the potential um, that, hey, this fire, it's still easy for this fire to throw a spot, you know, a quarter or half a mile out ahead of itself and as long as we have conditions that are conducive to spots doing that it really makes our dozer lines and even our air tankers really fairly ineffective which is why we still have fire burning here you know, almost two months after it started anyhow that's your dixie fire wrap up we'll uh, we'll be keeping you posted on this i want to send a shout out to um Someone I don't know personally, but goes by the name of Tumbleweed on one of the Wildland Fire Forums has been uh, helping out with mapping and also a user over there who goes by Tornado Cat. So uh, thanks, people. Uh, appreciate the help. It frees me up to do things like make these videos. And um, then we're posting mapping from them on thelookout.org. So uh, thanks for all the help. Yeah, if you're interested in, if you're into mapping and interested in, helping on this kind of stuff or also if you're um, like listening to a scanner and you you know retired fire person or someone who can help uh, be one of our lookouts we're looking for lookouts in other areas of the state uh, who can help us with our our coverage because uh, I'm hoping to stick with fires that are a little closer to home but we also want to cover all these other stories thanks everyone have a good day